Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today is Friday. This is the week that I had the neighbors who decided to re-roof their house and they are directly behind me and it was really loud. So I couldn't record on the days that I can record. And then I had my grandchildren Wednesday, Thursday. And on top of all that, I'm not feeling all that fantastic. My allergies, I'm not sure. I mean, it's cold, it's warm. It's cold, it's warm. <laughs> it's like all over the place. So anyway, but I had an idea. Oh, and I also have to go to a Christmas party tonight for my husband and his work. So I have to get ready for that here before too long. But I had an idea and I thought I could maybe film it really quick. So we'll see. But I did want to tell you guys that I did put the other, from the last video, uh, there's a playlist for this album. This is the Time of Wonders. That is the paper collection that I'm using. And so that's what I've called the album. And you guys have given me some suggestions on what to call this album because it's kind of a twofer. You know, it's got the kind of the scrap journal style interactive hybrid album situation going on on this back part here. And then this is the regular interactive scrapbooking stuff that I do a lot on this front part here. So you guys have given me a lot of ideas. I haven't decided on what to call it just yet, but um, it's pretty fun anyway, even just thinking about all the different things. I'm trying to keep it separate, like this type of scrapbooking, mini album making on the front part, and then the scrap journal type on the back part. But it's hard to do that because I love doing both together. So we'll see. We'll see how far I get keeping them separate. <laughs> but anyway, I have not figured out what I'm going to call it yet. So there's a whole playlist for this. I will link it up here in the cards. Anytime you see an eye up in the corner, those are the videos that are linked. That a lot of times usually people say. So I'm trying not to link them in the description box because my description box is pretty full at the moment. But in the last video, we did this page set up and I think I couldn't decide if I was gonna leave these inserts in here or not. So what I did is I did go ahead and do both of the tags from that we printed out from the scrap journal add-on. Um, I did both of the tags and I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I haven't done anything on the inside here, but um, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. So we'll see. But I just want to tell you, I did go ahead and add that. And I haven't added anything else. And uh, I think we're going to add something, some, one more thing to this front fin, and it's going to be right here. And it's, it's kind of a cool idea. I haven't m mocked it up or anything, so I don't know if it's going to work out, but I thought we would film it anyway. But I did want to tell you one more thing, too. I have, remember in the last video, I had mentioned the small, the wax seal stamp. So this one is the little mini rose wax seal stamp, and that's the one that looks like this. And now that I think about it, I'm almost 100% certain I bought this at Hobby Lobby. Almost, whoops, almost 100% certain. <laughs> And in another video, I kind of showed you a way to do the faux mini with the little mini mister or any sort of found object that, like that. It's, you know, you can just make like a little faux wax seal stamp. Well, I told you guys I ordered some. A uh, subscriber told me someplace, uh, some places to look that she found and on Amazon. And then there's someone else who told me about um, an Etsy shop. So I'll ha I haven't. I've looked at the Etsy shop, but I haven't like ordered anything from there. Uh, but anyway, so I ordered some from the Amazon. I actually have these already listed in my Amazon list specifically for this project that is linked down below. And I ordered three. One of them is double-ended. It has a, a rose on one side and a rose bud with leaves on the other. I'll show you. I did those. I did a little sample of those. So that's this one. Let me see if I can catch it in the light there. So the rose bud is the top 
and then this, or the rose, and then the rose bow with leaves is the second one. It's hard to, to demonstrate to you guys. But anyway, so this has got two ended. And then this one, um, there, let's see, I bought, this one's a rose, which I haven't stamped it out yet. And then this one is a couple butterflies with some floral, or not floral, like leaf elements. I just thought it was so pretty. So anyway, I just want to tell you that I did find them. I have, I, whoop, I have them in my possession and I do like them. So, and they work, they stamped really well. I thought they were gonna be too heavy, uh, but they, they worked really, really well. So they're, the only thing I don't like about these types is I really like the, the old style, the vintage style of these little handles and this little guy here. I just, I don't know, really like that look and feel, but they're still good options. So I'm gonna be using them. I've got them linked in my Amazon and I'm gonna put them over here for now. I'm gonna move them all actually, because I don't know if we're gonna be making any wax seals today. Be careful, I might break my coaster. Okay, so my idea back here, let's get to that. We're just gonna add to this fin. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. And we are gonna use, so this is, I haven't even prepped anything. This is out of focus, there we go. This is the <laughs> leftover, binding piece from where we did the binding in the beginning. So here is the piece that we used, right? And so we have all this leftover stuff. So we're gonna use this piece right here. And it has got the uh, ornament background design on it. So we're gonna be using this. And then I need to grab the main base page B template. So this is the size album that we're making, the B size album. And I need to trace this main base page, which is on page 8B. So I'm gonna need that. And I don't think I'm gonna need the mat for that. So I'm just gonna grab this one. And these are both out of the foundations. These are available in my Etsy shop. These are printable templates. They are not a physical item. You make your own workbook. You can either make it like I do, or you can make it with page protectors and a binder, or you could just put them in a folder. And I feel like you're crooked. Oh, goodness. Okay. So what else do I need? See, I'm feeling all kinds of hot mess today. I took a selfie earlier. Do you want to see? I'll show you myself. I had to laugh at myself here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Look it. This was this is me right now, feeling all kinds of hot mess. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> all kinds of hot mess. Anyways. Um oh you wanna see a picture of my Christmas tree? Let me find it. Oh, you wanna see a picture of my grandson last night? <gasps> he fell asleep on grandma. Look at look. Look at that sweet face. Oh. All right, there should be another funny picture of him. We had both of them. He uh, fell asleep in my arms the other day eating a strawberry. Is <laughs> that not the cutest thing ever? Okay. All right, my Christmas tree. Back to my Christmas tree. Let me see if I can find a picture. We just finished repainting. So, there's not a whole lot of decoration or anything on the walls. Oh, there's a picture. So, it's just basically, I was going to try to show you one um, where it was darker, but I love my Christmas tree. It's so pretty. So, we have no presents under the tree yet. We're getting ready to start wrapping, hopefully, this weekend. And now i got to sneeze. Okay, so, what I need is a piece of transparency. So this is the scrapbook.com transparencies acetate that I ordered and I wanted to test it out for you guys. And all I'm gonna do, well, 
we're gonna have a transparent page, but it's, I guess it just is not gonna be that simple, right? <laughs> not, not in my world, it's not anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna trace this out, and I think I'm gonna have to use a marker. And maybe I'll just trace the edges, because I don't, I think it'll smear. And I know it's hard for you guys to see because it is clear, transparent. Oh, I should probably move my tea. I'm drinking, what am I drinking? I'm drinking lemon ginger tea with honey and lemon in it to try to help with my allergies. So we'll see. I need to be careful not to smudge that black. So I'm just gonna trim this right uh, right before those little black black marks there. Got something on my paper trimmer. Okay. I'll set those aside. Okay. So for now, I'm just gonna leave the acetate underneath the <laughs> traceable template just so it doesn't glare and so I don't lose it. So now I'm going to take this piece here and I think I'm going to score score it as if I was using it like a binding piece. I'm going to score it here. Score it here. And then I'm going to score it in the middle. So that would be one and a quarter. We'll score it here. So, let me go ahead and prep all of those score marks. And I'm gonna ink this edge up really quick. This will make sense in a minute, I promise. Well, maybe not, maybe not. I can't promise that because I haven't made it yet. <laughs> I can't promise you guys that, can I? All right, so now we got something that looks weird like that. So now I'm gonna fold it back on itself and I'm gonna ink this edge up on the inside here. This is Walnut Stain Distress Oxide. And I think, I think before I go any further, I'm gonna take some one eighth inch, this always comes out, score tape. And not on this middle one, but on the score marks for that would normally be, or that are the tabs that go on to the binding. I'm gonna run a strip of this eighth of an inch tape along each one of those score marks like this and then I'm going to run a piece on these edges here, going over the score that we inked. I just think it's easier to do it this way. I mean, maybe not. I may have just made it harder on myself. We don't need this anymore. Well, at least for now, I don't think. I'm gonna burnish those. And then I'm just going to snip right through that tape and the paper on that score mark in the middle because what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear it apart like this.
So now we have two pieces that look like that. So now what I think I want to do is I'm going to cut. I think I'm actually going to cut this fin away. Because I don't think I'm going to need it. I think it'll just add additional bulk that we don't need. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm not even going to get my paper trimmer out. I'm going to use craft knife and a ruler and craft mat and I'm going to trim it away I'm going to keep this though because we might need to mat one of our fins so I'm going to keep that piece somehow without losing it okay so now we have a piece that looks like that ink that cut edge really quick I guess I can just leave this here for now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to remove the tape backing and then I'm going to add just a little bit of liquid glue because this is going to be, I think, this is going to be like a little tuck spot. And if you're going to have a little tuck spot and then you have dry adhesive, you want to make sure that they don't get stuck on that dry adhesive. So I'm just right on the inside of this dry adhesive. I'm going to run a strip of liquid glue. This is art glitter glue. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my acetate sheet and I'm going to lay it on here. Wow. Did you see it come up at it? I lay it on here. Not going over that score mark. Uh oh. I got it on here a little crooked, so I'm going to have to do a little trimming on here, but that's okay. See how it's a little bit taller than the binding strip, so let's just line it up. Trim it off. No big deal. Okay. I'm glad I got that on there right. <laughs> I was not going to be happy if I didn't. Alright, I'm going to bend this back on itself like this. And I'm going to ink this edge, I think. So on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. So let's just right side up. So it's going to go on like this. So I'm going to remove the tape backing, add some glue. And then place this on here. Do not go over that score mark because it will interfere with the page movement. Okay, so now we have a clear page. So I've already grabbed a few things. I've already put together a few things that I think might do well with what I want to do here. Let me find it. So I put, I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to leave this sitting out, my tray of some stuff. And then I've also got 
these two left over from the last page. I think these might be fun if we folded it in half like this and stuck it here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So these are tags from the tags, you know, that I just showed you. And I thought about from the tags uh, from last from the last video. I thought about doing something like this, or this to be more permanent, and then something to be tucked in bus b underneath, or something like that. I thought about doing something like this, and maybe add in a Christmas tree. Oops, got it tucked in there really good. Something like that, maybe. And then I thought about some of the elements that could go back to back. So it could show on both sides, or I can put it on both sides. So I thought about having an, a package on the Christ, under the Christmas tree, or having a heart or a star somewhere on the page. And then on the other side, I thought about doing that, and then maybe having poinsettias on there instead of a Christmas tree, like layer up a couple poinsettias or something like this and then having that present I guess it would be on this side sticking out like this you know what I mean so I thought we could do something like that on both sides and then I thought we would add glue some like some of our shaker elements all over the place so that's what I'm thinking but then we we're going to have to where we could have inserts like where we could have photo mat inserts and stuff that could go in here as well. So that's my thoughts. So maybe I should do the tag thingy on the outside of here. So first thing is, let me do these tags up right. Oops. Sorry about that glare, you guys. Here, let me stick these on there so maybe they'll help reduce that glare a little bit. <laughs> maybe. You guys are far away again. I'm telling you, there's some sort of studio gremlin that comes in here and messes with my stuff. So I'm just going to ink these up both sides. That. And then I should do a hole reinforcement and then punch a hole and then we'll put some on the back just in case you see it. Did I catch it or did it go somewhere else? <laughs> and then put one on the back. Let's do ones that don't have much bling on there. do pull. I need to make sure that I take my temperature before I start getting ready for this Christmas party, huh? Because if I'm sick sick, I do not need to be going anywhere. But if it's just my allergies, I should probably be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to take that through there. Oh, these are, this is too tiny. Oh, I might be able to get it. What is that noise?
Okay, so let's, this will be the inside. So this is what's gonna be, matter of fact, let me just put the tape on it now. And that way we'll know. This is what's gonna attach to the binding. So I'm gonna put, I'm pretty sure this is half inch tape from Cherry on Top, but it's a little smaller than half inch. Everything is linked down below. All of my tape resources and whatnot are linked down below. So, let's do the inside one first. So should the inside one be the tree or should the inside one be I think I'm just gonna have to commit to it. So, I'm going to actually use my fiber attack, And I think, I will leave this open as a tuck somehow. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there. So I think it's gonna be like this. Maybe I'll just glue this one to that and then to the bottom. I like being able to see through that. I think that looks pretty. to glue it to this side here so I need to be super careful just glue this itty bitty bit which doesn't seem like much so I'm not sure if this is gonna work Then let's flip it over. Let's do the same thing. So we're just gonna glue this down like this. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and tack it down. And then, so this has to be here to match that, but that's the only thing that has to be there. So this one might be too big though. Well, that's not too bad. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to make sure that there is like a tuck situation I feel like the camera's getting ready to shut off just in case 
we want to tuck something. So that has to be there like that. Oops, I did something wrong. No, I guess it's okay. How about if I do it like this? Oops. Layers. So let me lift this piece up right here, and then I'm going to tack it down here, I think, so that it doesn't move. All right, the next thing I think I'm going to do is add a couple inserts, and then we can place some bling strategically in certain places, I think. That's what I want to do anyways. So yeah. So what I did was I printed two uh, of the photo mats. So I printed one page of 7BD out of the add-on photo mats in the plane on cardstock, on 80 pound cardstock. And then I printed one AC. I printed one plane on 80 pound cardstock. And then on the back sides, I printed the shades of color this is number seven and this one is number 16 so these are from the shades of color two and then i printed from the add-on scrap journal printable papers i printed over top of that we did that in a page before with the purple and we might add the gold paint around the edges as well so i thought that would add a little bit of interest so i'm going to move this out of the way i'm going to trim these up real quick And I made myself some more tea. And oh, I can turn that up very good. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna trim these up. I'll probably ink them up both sides, and then I will be right back. All right. I have them all inked up on the back side. ready to go and I was gonna say you know at the end of our album journey here we could we could come back and f put a photo mat of some not photo mat put it like a four by six piece of pattern paper on here if we have it left over like what well, I mean I'm kind of being conservative here in the front of this album or in the beginning of this album because we've got a long way to go so we could come back if we have scraps left over and we could mat these back sides with that as well and still have that pretty border. So it's just something to think about. But I am going to stamp these with the, uh, with the photo sizes. There's my 5 by 7 There's my 4 by 6 And this is from, once again, my stamp set that I love so much. I'll have it linked down below. If it's not in stock, be sure to add your name to the list to be notified when it gets back in stock. All right, so I'm just going to really quick stamp these on here. Oops, I almost did the 4 by 6 I don't even try to center it or anything. It's totally fine. Okay, so I think I am going to do the watercolor on the back side like we did on the page. I'm going to grab my watercolor, my watercolors, and I found the brush I've been trying to find this whole time. This is from the Ranger set, and this is a round number nine, so I'm going to use this one instead of this one because um, I've been looking for that because I have a whole set, and I have them linked in my Amazon, so, so anyway, I guess I could just leave it there. So I'm going to get this color wet and 
I'm gonna get my brush wet. Oh, that's empty. Tack on it. I have a little thing of water. Well, I had, because it's empty now. So, this one does the flicking better when you go to flick the specks. This brush does. Okay. So, I'm just gonna go through and do this to all of them just for an added little detail. Just for an added decoration, I guess. If you don't have the watercolor, but you have that foiling, you could do the Distress um, Glue Stick Foiling Technique that I like to do. You could do that as well. There's many ways to get this, this look. You know, you could use some wax, some, what's it called, um, oh, I don't have it sitting here anymore, I guess I put it up, you know, like gilding wax and stuff, you could do that. All right, they're all done and dry, but because I wasn't super careful, they did kind of go around to the other side, and you know what? I kind of like it, so I'm not going to be upset about it. I kind of dig it. I think it looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this back over here, is I think I'll have one facing up colorful and one facing up with the photo mat, kind of like this. So it'll look like that on one side, actually. Yeah. And then on this side, we'll have one with the five by seven, or one with the white showing, and then one with the purple. It doesn't have to match up perfectly to the other side. But yeah, that'll be cute, right? I think so. So one on that side, one on that side. Yeah. So the next thing I was thinking, I may not put these on here. I was thinking about adding these to the acetate, but I do want to add some bling. So let me put these up because I uh, don't want to lose them, but I want to add some bling, so let me grab all my bling. Oops. I guess I don't need this anymore. It's kind of getting in the way. So, I want to add some bling to this, but I also want to add some to the acetate, like little clusters of stuff, so... Let me start by, I want to get some of these little picket fence sequence mix out. Wow, I don't need that much. So I want to use some of that and I may use some of this, some of the gold, and I may use some of these because they're. I want to use the bigger ones. So I'm gonna pour a few of these. These are the diamond dots, the gold diamond dot thingies. And then I don't know what size I want to use in that yet. So. First, I want to add some bling to this and to the Christmas tree. Let me start on the Christmas tree. So I feel like that's easy. We'll just put a little gold, I think. So I'm going to take my art glitter glue, put a little dab of glue there. I'm going to grab the little P3000 
picky yuppie sticky. <laughs> What's this thing called? It's not called picky yuppie sticky, is it? It's called Jewel Picker by Marvy. Need my coffee. And then I'm wondering if we should add maybe something to here. What else do we got in here? Maybe we could do like a little sequence. So when you're, what I'm thinking about on the sequence, when I'm, I'm going to do them upside down. I don't guess there's really a right and wrong way, I don't guess. But um, I don't want them to get caught on anything. So I'm thinking about doing them upside, oops, that one's too big. Okay. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. The biggest one I could find, I guess. I wanted to do the small one. Come on, stick down. Did my glue dry already? It's very possible my glue dried. <sighs> Try it again. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes. Okay. Then should I add anything else? Yeah, I could add a few little dots on the stars. Well, let's just do... Well, one, two, three, four, five, that'd be six. So let's do one, two, three. Let's go ahead and do all of them. I think that'd be cute. Okay, so we'll leave that like that for now. I'm going to flip this around and we'll put the same thing on the present, which was a little sequence, right? It's very possible I'm not adding enough glue. Or maybe I did. And then I'm going to do three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do two over there. So one. Two. Right, so it looks like that. Okay. So my battery is flashing at me. I need to change my battery and I'm going to think about where I want to put some bling on the acetate because I feel like we have to have that on the acetate. I feel like it's a must. Okay, I'm gonna scooch you in. I kind of laid out what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scooch you in too far. Now I'm gonna move everything. <laughs> in the corner here. And I was gonna add some snowflakes, but I don't think I'm going to. They just, there was, it just was a little distracting. So I kind of like this little bit that I got going on here. So I'm going to move them and put some glue down. I did take a picture so that um, I can kind of try to remember where I wanted to put things. So I'm just going to scooch them off of the acetate here. Okay. So I think I'm just going to start adding some glue dots. I 
that has to dry. And then we'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. But I think I want to put maybe one of each down here in the bottom corner. So I'm just going to put three dabs of glue and hope for the best. So. Because I did just use three different. How do you re-stick these little these little things, you guys? How do you do it? <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Okay, I'll let them dry a smidge, but I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and add the ones on the back side. I let it dry just barely. So, I'm going to flip this over and I'm just going to go and add exactly in the same spots. And we'll try to anyway. Now we're gonna let those dry. And I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna put all these things up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've let it dry as long as I can. I do know that it will dry clear because I did experiment with gluing onto acetate. So I do know that it will dry clear. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus. Maybe not. It's like, eh, it will dry clear, okay? But I will tell you, because I got a glue mess up, you can see it through the acetate. There's a little bit of a glue mess up, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. I'm just glad that this looks cool, <laughs> that it worked out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add it to the back side of this fin here. And I'm going to remove this tape backing. And I'm going to turn my book so I can see and I'm going to attach it. Oop. We don't want to attach that string, do we? I'm going to attach it to here without attaching that string in between. <laughs> okay. Just giving it a good press. Yeah, so now we've got this page attached onto there. And this whole, this whole um, fin will lay a little bit flatter as you work through it. But yeah, look at that cute, look at it. It kind of even looks like more layers because you can see those inserts. We may add inserts, we may take away inserts. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys like this idea? I think it's a pretty cool idea. But yeah, I really like the way this turned out. Okay, you guys, do let me know what you think. Oh, I forgot to remind you guys about the giveaway. There uh, is a giveaway for this album series. All you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment below the videos in this album series. So go to that paper, go to that paper, go to that playlist and skip the first couple. Start with the covers. Um, you can even, or the album prep and then the covers and so on and leave a comment under each one of those videos. That way the comment picker can pull your comment in and to enter you into the giveaway. And so be sure to do that. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.